So before I start this review, I just want to say to all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Thank you for all you do. Us guys will be lost without you. And to my own mom and my wife, thank you so much. I love you more than words could ever explain. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, back with you again. Today, I'm really pumped to go over this shoe with you guys. I hit on this shoe on the Confirmed app over a week ago, and immediately after I got the alert that I got the shoe, I got a follow-up notification that said shipping is gonna be delayed. So, it finally got here, and I'm real pumped to share it with you guys. Before we get into that, if this is your first time here, then welcome. Bread and Butter is a new channel, but we're growing really quick. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That'll help this video get seen by more people, which will help the channel grow faster. But anyhow, let's get into the kicks. So if you've watched the channel, you may have seen this box before. This is an Adidas A through ZX series release. This is the Overkill collaboration. This box looks just like the other A through ZX releases that I got. It's just plain white. And on the top, I'm not sure if you can see that, if it's coming through on camera or not, but it's got A through ZX series and then the Adidas emblem printed in white. But since it's on a white box, it's kind of hard to see. This box is a drawer style box. And then we'll get a look at the sticker. It reads ZX 8500 Overkill. And I don't know that Adidas has released an 8500 before. From what I gathered, they coined this the 8500 because it's a mashup of the ZX 8000 and the ZX 9000, which makes sense. This is the ZX 8500 Overkill. And the official colors are crystal white, signal green, and core black. This is a size 10. The retail price on these was 140 US dollars. But then without further delay, here's our first look at the Adidas Overkill ZX 8500. And I wasn't familiar with the company Overkill. I really hadn't heard of them or taken note of them before. Apparently, Overkill started as a magazine based out of Berlin, and the magazine was devoted to graffiti art and graffiti artists. So just like the little hit on the heel here, that is the flammable emblem, which you'll see on spray paint cans. You can see the top half is like the quotation marks from Overkill. And then the bottom half is the flammable emblem. Every little area of this shoe has a purpose, but you can definitely see there's just hits all over the shoe that are a nod to graffiti artists. One thing you'll see right off the bat is that the shoelaces are mismatched. They both have this checkerboard pattern and one shoelace is a neon green, one is a darker green, and if you're not into those, they also gave us plenty of other options. Some of the ends of the laces say A through ZX series, and some of the ends of the laces say Overkill on them. But they gave us plenty of options to personalize it, and I always like that. But then starting at this outsole, we see that we got a just plain black rubber outsole. Towards the middle of the shoe, you can see that torsion system in a neon green, and it's got the Adidas emblem and the Overkill uh, quotation emblem. And you can also see the gray of the midsole peeking through there. That gray makes up primarily the whole midsole, aside from these inserts that add stability and structure to the base of the shoe. But we've got those in a nice bright blue color on the inner side of the shoe and as we come around to the outside of the shoe we can see an insert in a nice bright purple color but straight up from that 
most of the materials on the shoe are synthetic. I really, I don't mind the fact that it's synthetic materials just because I appreciate the time that they put into the design of this shoe and the creation of this shoe. It does look nice and clean. It came out really well. So I don't mind that it's not super buttery leather or anything. That doesn't bother me at all. This material here was inspired by concrete, which obviously if you're a graffiti artist, then concrete is your canvas. And you can see this overkill is embroidered here in black thread. And then on the toe box, we've got a really nice soft feeling mesh and it's a white color with a nice sheen to it. And there's also little hits of 3M reflective, some silver and then some black. And then just behind that, you start seeing all these crazy neon colors just jumping off of there. That really is nostalgic to me, just because all these really bright, crazy colors in the early 90s, that was the coolest thing around. You know, the more your shirt would glow or the more puffy paint it had on it, you know, the cooler you were. You've got more of this mesh material, but back here it's in like a neon green. And then I read where these materials here that have these little diamond patterns on them, that is meant as a nod or a reminder of chain link fences, which I guess if you're a graffiti artist, you're used to scaling chain link fences. Then on the back, we've got this nice purple heel anchor for stability and structure. And I like how you've got this clear overlay, but you can see this nice neon green and bright red. This reminds me of like at a construction site, the uh, temporary fencing that they put up, the netting. They gave us the three stripes in this fluorescent color. And the tongue is the same color mesh that we had on the toe box, but it feels very, very padded. And at the base of the tongue, there's, this feels like suede. I'm not sure if it is or if it's a synthetic material, but it really feels like a nice, nice high-end suede. But at the top of the tongue, you see you've got a red Adidas emblem on the tag, and you've got the overkill emblem embroidered in black stitching over top of it. Also on the back of the shoe above this nice purple and uh, uh, flammable and overkill emblem, you've got another hit of reflective material. And down here is also another little hit of the Adidas emblem mixed with the Overkill branding. One other thing I thought was really unique was just that Overkill and Adidas gave us these overshoes that are meant to protect your shoes from when you're spray painting. So maybe it's time to start graffiti art. 